It's been keeping me back from making the pieces that I want to make and they just take such a long time to make. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of an Artist. I want to talk about that self-doubt sabotage that I get myself into a lot. It's got to be common for a lot of artists. But let's back up. I reviewed the work that I did last year, looking at the images and also how many paintings I made. And it's really not a lot. I want to be making more work. I have a lot of ideas in my head and I don't want them to be stuck there. And so then I reviewed my workflow, the process of making each individual painting and drawing. And that is where I found the number one thing that is really slowing me down and that is self-doubt. And it is just such a waste of time, right? I mean, Self-doubt is good in little amounts, I feel like. There's like a healthy self-doubt where you can kind of doubt yourself so you can be improving, but then there's like this huge reign of an unhealthy self-doubt. I'm sure it's different for every artist, but for me, I would definitely agonize over every step of my workflow to make a painting or drawing because I wanted every single step to be beautiful and look perfect before I moved on to the next step which is kind of nice in a theory, like I'm holding myself up to these really high standards and I want everything to look great along the way. But in actuality, it's, it just slows me down. And working that way is really draining and I feel like it sucks the creativity and fun out of the process as well because I'm trying to be perfect <laughs> for each step along the way. And then so I'm taking less risks or when I do take risks and it doesn't work out perfectly the first time I do it, I just get really down on myself. Like I would literally have to come to this wall where I see past work that I've done to remind myself that I know how to paint and draw. I'm holding myself up to the standard of wanting to be perfect. Or not even the finished piece, but even as the piece is in progress. But it can't just be me, right, that feels that way. That's got to be a common thing. And so since my time is so limited, since I'm a new mom. Not only do I want to speed up my painting process, I want to enjoy the process as much as I can. And there's so much enjoyment that gets sucked out with self-doubt. For the rest of the year, I'm really going to try and keep these three rules in my head. So let's see what happens with this first painting. I'm working on my sirens painting. I've got the sirens now and the ocean rock up on the canvas. And now I'm going to start painting in color. I'm going to start in the background, pushing and getting the colors in to figure out exactly what I'm going for. I'm not entirely sure color-wise, but I want it to be more light and airy. So I compiled some images that I like. I'm just going to probably just look at a, <laughs> just these different images. I don't have one in particular, but usually ocean scenes are really deep colors, deep blues and stuff, but I'm liking these lighter ones. So that's what I'm gonna be, this is where I'm, I'm gonna be drawing my inspiration from. Got a lot of colors on my palette. I'm probably not gonna use them all, but I like to give myself the option to. Since I don't know exactly the colors that I'm gonna use, I'm starting in the background because it's, a lot less specific than working in a figure so I can really just crazy experiment. So the first rule that I'm giving myself to really combat those self-doubt thoughts is that when I start to notice them creep in my brain, I'm just gonna switch the channel. I'm not gonna be entertaining those thoughts anymore because just because I think something, I have a thought come into my head, doesn't mean it's true. So when I start to have those thoughts where I feel like I don't know how to paint, I don't know how to draw, I'm not talented enough to make these paintings that I want to make, I'm just not going to entertain those thoughts. I'm switching that channel in my brain and I'm putting an end to it. And so instead of entertaining those thoughts, I'm going to be confident. And even if I don't feel confident, I'm going to pretend that I'm confident. I'm going to pretend that I'm the painter that can really be able to make the paintings that I want to make. It's funny even starting this painting in the background where I'm just experimenting with color. I could still feel myself like going into that habit of like, oh, is this right? I don't know. Should I be doing this or that? Or is this brushstroke weird here? <laughs> even when I'm just throwing paint on to experiment. So already this early in, I'm already implementing this where I'm just saying, yep, I know what I'm doing. I'm putting paint on. I'm painting. 
Rule number two, keep the momentum going. Gonna not let perfectionism keep me from progressing in a painting or drawing. And so then if I find myself endlessly circling in a particular stage in the art making process, then that is a sign for me to move on to the next step in the art making process. So I am really pushing to have progress be more important than perfectionism because perfectionism is a bad habit that really gets self-doubt going and stops the progress of art making for me. So I'm going to keep the, the momentum going and I'm going to finish my projects. So in this painting, I'm nervous to start the figures because I'm doing a method that is really new to me. I'm used to painting models from life, but in this situation, I have a lot of different photo references that I'm kind of Frankensteining together. So it's something that's totally out of my comfort zone. And it just makes me want to just stop and reconsider, reconsider, reconsider. So I'm not letting myself do that. I'm just going to keep pushing ahead and keep making progress. Progress is more important than perfectionism. And the last rule, I'm going to have designated time for critiques. Critiques are really important. Like I said at the beginning, I think there is healthy and unhealthy self-doubt. Unhealthy self-doubt is doubting absolutely every action that I'm taking with my art making and I'm like second guessing every brush stroke and every pen mark like along the way of making the artwork. And instead, I'm now enabling certain times when I critique my work. So for me, my critique time is going to be the start of a painting session. So then I can see what I did yesterday with fresh eyes. I'm making a game plan for how I'm going to improve the piece and keep moving forward, seeing what I did yesterday, what I want to change about that, or just like keep moving on from that. And so during that critique time, if I do second guess myself for what I did the previous day, then I've got that game plan for how I'm going to improve it. But then after that de designated critique time, I'm done. <laughs> done entertaining self-doubt thoughts for the rest of the painting session. It's funny for this one because at the end of the week when I had all the figures in, since my art studio is in my house, Eric came in and we were just hanging out in our family room, which is right beside the studio. And he looked at the painting and he said something like, oh, like the, the figure right there doesn't really make sense, the pose. It's almost like the body is in two different positions that doesn't, wouldn't make sense for a person to hold. And I absolutely, he knows this, that I love it when he says stuff like that and critiques my work because I really like the second pair of eyes and he never does it in like a mean way. He's just giving the reaction on the painting and I really, really appreciate that. But then I explained to him these three rules that I, I made up and that this isn't a critique time for me because then I'm just thinking about that figure that he pointed out and I'm think gonna be thinking about that all night until I start working on it again. So uh, we kind of talked about it. I don't think we totally came up with like a perfect solution because I want him to have the freedom to tell me what he thinks about the painting because I find that so helpful, but I need to not just have these like random outside opinions come in either. I need to have the outside opinions come at certain times. But I pushed my painting along this week and honestly, it's really hard for me to do all of these three rules. This is definitely... I've got bad habits with self-doubt and I think this is gonna gonna help but I really have to put a lot of mental energy to try and do these three things and I guess we'll see what happens in theory I think this is gonna make me be able to produce a lot more artwork a lot of good artwork and for me just to be happier in general <laughs>